Hi, I'm Jay and this is Sigmund the Science Sloth. Like many, we're now working from home. So, welcome to my living room. As you saw earlier, I love bubbles. We can make our own bubble mixture at home. A few things to consider just before you start your experiment. Make sure that you've got a responsible grown up with you before you start your experiment. Make sure that you have a clean space with no electricity around because we will be dealing with some liquids. If you're doing this experiment outside, just be aware of the wind conditions. You don't want to be getting bubble mixture in your eyes. Let's get some bubbles going. Are you ready, Sigmund? Once you have a clean and clear space, you can collect your ingredients. So today what we'll need is a container, so a bucket or a bowl of some sort that you can mix your liquids in. You'll also need 350 mils of distilled water, 150 mils of dishwashing liquid, and 50 milliliters of glycerol. If you go to the chemist, this may also be called glycerin. Finally, we'll just need some form of wire that we'll get to in the second part. So step one, grab your container, and you're gonna pour your distilled water into it. You're gonna mix your glycerol. Then we're gonna pour our dishwashing liquid in there as well. Stir that one around. Allow your bubble mixture to set for about 30 minutes to help it thicken. Step two. While you wait, make a circle out of your piece of wire, leaving enough wire at the end so that you have a handle. You may use one piece of wire or you may choose to use two pieces of wire. Step three, have fun blowing bubbles. So what's the science behind bubbles? Bubbles are bits of gas or air trapped inside a liquid ball. The liquid ball is made up of two thin films of soap with water in between. Bubbles always hold the gas or liquid inside of them with the least possible surface area for any given volume, which is a sphere. Scientists refer to bubbles as minimal surface structures. So why do we sometimes see rainbows on bubbles? We see the colours on a bubble through the reflection and refraction of light waves off the inner and outer surface of the bubble wall. When white light, which contains all colours of the rainbow, hits the soap films, it will be reflected back, but it sometimes spreads out into a spectrum or rainbow. As the two waves of light, one from the inner surface and the other from the outer surface, travel back, they interfere with one another, causing what we know as colour. When the waves reinforce each other, the colour is more intense. When the waves get close to cancelling each other out, there is almost no colour. That's why sometimes we can see rainbows and sometimes we can't. Thanks for joining me and Sigmund today. If you've had fun doing this experiment, then let us know on social media by using hashtag SciTechAtHome. See you next time.